Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we've got news. So, today's news has to do with Adobe and the release of a brand new tool that we covered earlier when they announced this tool. And the name of the tool is Fresco. So, Adobe Fresco is here. But then, there is a whole lot of talk I would actually go through and talk about. But first of all, we talked about this tool earlier and we, you know, we talked about the brand new features that it comes with, the cool stuff that it does. This tool is supposed to replicate like real life water painting effect and all that stuff. Then another thing about this tool is that the way the tool is built is for it to be easy for you to, you know, transfer your whole water painting idea and the way you, you know, the way you create your stuff on ground directly here it kind of works with both raster and vector at the same time and for interpolation with softwares you know you can also go ahead and export uh, as psd pdf and also png and fresco itself also includes you know color wheel for basic color adjustment uh, feel all of those incredible things that you would like to see now we covered a couple of things and we also talked about the live brush system uh, that it also has something that the guys at Adobe has created which actually simulates like real life water and you know oil paint behavior especially when you're painting and we we kind of talked about these things earlier this tool is actually not free because unlike sketch and draw fresco itself i mean you got to pay about 9.99 which is ten dollars per month for you to be able to at least unlock the premium version this tool is incredible i gotta tell you i mean if you want to use a tool like this the fact that it has amazing amazing qualities it could simulate real life pencil effect it could simulate real life color effect it could simulate uh, you know real life oil effects those things are so so nice but then we shouldn't forget the fact that this is adobe because not long ago we got to see where these guys literally killed an app which we all kind of think would have been a very successful one but th and then of course you know there is going to be a lot of talk about okay maybe this is going to be something this this is going to be something like that but then i still don't think that this app would survive because this is not like the first time we're seeing the guys at adobe kill stuff this is not the first time we're you know coming across them just blatantly just waking up in the morning and say this doesn't make sense the xd automatically looks dead flashing itself is also dead i mean these apps are apps that do and actually looked like they had a future but then these guys you know just go ahead and kill it there is also apps that they've you know talked about that never surfaced and it's just incredible how they just keep creating new apps and new apps and new apps to me, I kind of think that some of the things that they are pushing out, calling names, I don't know if some developer is in charge of these or maybe if it's just some executive decisions to just pump as much apps as you can. No shade intended to the artists that are, or to the developers creating this. I just think that instead of just creating apps over apps over apps, they should have just incorporated this same idea, the same technology, the same thing to a different app altogether. You know, the whole thing just kind of looks and sounds the same, you know, because here they're saying it, it works with a vector, you know, has a live brush, kind of have the pixel thing. All right. You know, they're also saying that you could make use of, you know, a thousand and one Photoshop brushes, which kind of make me feel like if it's going to use Photoshop brushes, why not just incorporate a mobile Photoshop version into the whole workflow? I mean, or maybe you could change the name to mobile Photoshop version. To me, that would have made sense. Creating a brand new app, calling it, you know, Fresco. What if you just go ahead and incorporate this feature as the painting or the drawing version? of you know draw or maybe of sketch it would have made a lot of sense keep the users where they are incorporate a brand new feature to it instead of just making people purchase things over and over to me this kind of looks like something that has a bright future in front of it but it might just die off as soon as it can because the way they're advertising this the way they're pushing this here and there it looks like a finished product and we know the guys at adobe they don't like finished product it has the whole layer thing that you want it has the pigmentation kind of replicates you know organic interaction it has the whole you know you can pull brushes from here to this place you can actually interpolate with different softwares you can you know export things you have the basic color adjustment it has layer masking all of those things that you need in photoshop it has it all right I think this project might actually be 
a doa i think it's just going to go ahead and last a couple of years and at the end of the day maybe the guys at adobe is just going to go through and pull this down because finished product to the guys at adobe doesn't make sense they just have something against products that i kind of think are finished because if the product is finished then what else are you developing if the product is done what else are you developing i mean you want to develop an app where you just press a and it automatically creates a flower that's that what you want to do adobe don't like that they just keep pushing things back and forth and the minute the software looks like it's complete a minute the software looks like it is done and you know reasonable and the functionalities are good they keep it for a while they discontinue it or they just leave it in perpetual on development there is no brand new thing that comes to it and before you know what's happening they kind of kill it i don't know to me i kind of think that adobe products are just products that should be left unfinished especially if it is something that you want to keep it kind of take them a whole lot of years before they figure out that okay it's time to add ctrl z to this thing and i think people that are working with procreate might totally totally just try testing this app for a while and go ahead and delete it and putting this at ten dollar a month might be interesting at the beginning but over time when you figure out that maybe there are alternative apps that you're going to get for free that you can use that gives you exactly the same feature you may probably kind of discontinue with this so tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section this is me just ranting about this thing because the guys at Adobe just keep creating stuff that they keep. Some other things to be concerned about with this entire thing is that, you know, by default, there is a Procreate software that exists there. And the guys at Savage Interactive has actually, you know, pushed this app to a very good point. It exists for iPad alone. And yes, and you just get to pay $10 for a one-time payment considering the fact that you pay a one-time payment that is ten dollars and also considering the fact that you have to pay ten dollars for this piece of software every single month to me it doesn't make sense so i think the whole hype about this is just going to go ahead and die out just like most of the tools that they've created and over time you know if revenue doesn't come in so much they might just go ahead and kill it tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you get this just the minute it drops and with that said until i see you guys next time with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace